the, the point of the, the show is that we all have all, um, we're, we have everything in us, you know, nothing's black or white. And that even if I said that I'm drawn to the goodness, to her, her pure goodness is not always um, done for the reasons that we would think. I mean, it, it wouldn't be pure goodness if you do something because you want someone else to love you. I mean, that's not completely... Um, Pure. It, it, does that make sense? So that, that's, I think that's an important message in the show and, and vice versa. But I'm actually, in the show, I'm drawn to the wickedness. It's more fun to play when, yeah. later on when she starts to own this, um, you know, person that everyone is saying that she is. It's, it's, you know, that's when the gritty, good acting stuff comes in. You could ask my husband. He, whenever, I had, a, you know, a lot of days of worrying you know, if I was good in this role and blah, 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 and he'd have to hear my insecurities at home. And he'd say, honey, this role is made for you. You're the perfect wicked with us. What does that say to me? Probably the most challenging part for me was um, vocally. Uh, I sing in the show operatically, and I also sing um, belt. I also sing in my lower register. So it's, it's the singing all over the map is the most challenging. And also the actually the emotional journey that I as Glenda take eight times a week with lots of joy especially working opposite Adina but, and, and Joel and all of them and just this story and it's just really neat to see people come on this journey with us every night and be touched because I can hear the Kleenexes and I can see this and that's when I, I know that we've done our job. Look at you wearing black. Yeah, I think it's funny that Adina wore the long glamorous gown and I wore the short black gown. I think we're kind of tired of being the other but she has a lot of Glinda in her, and I have a lot of Elphaba in me, so why not? I'm, I'm already a physical actress, but there's been a lot of stuff added into this part, and um, which is good. I'm on the Glinda diet, all of my clothes. <laughs> Just, uh, first of all, you don't even want to know what goes on backstage. I have like a seven-second change, and uh, also we have these escape stairs that are not, you know, normally stairs go like this. These go like that, so I'm like, it's, it's like doing a Bill Irwin you know, trick. I'll help you be popular. You'll hang with the right cohorts. You'll be good at sports. Know the slang you've got to know. So let's start, because you've got an awfully long way to go. One thing that we have in common is that I like to wear glitter, and so does she. But, uh, no, I mean, this character I'm playing, um, I have a lot of people that I'm drawing on <laughs> that I've known in the past that I use for... <laughs> put it in a nice southern way that I've used for inspiration but um, no I'm very different from that character um, that's what makes her fun to play that's actually what Kristen and I are most proud of is to be representing a show about women and friendship um, and uh, I think every night when we sing that song for good at the end of the show it's just a reaffirming time and a reassurance of what we're doing up there, and I, it's, there's, it's the only time in the show where we don't even—we're not really acting because we're just as friends and as women, we are um, connected and, and realize that it's an important message to be getting out there. You can't